Hi, I'm Lee Burkeen, your host of Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Uh, we have a packed show tonight, uh, great recruits. Lance Callahan's coming on from Catholic High, a D tackle who's going to Stanford. Uh, Irvin Nash, a defensive end linebacker from East Ascension. Wade Julian, a linebacker from East Ascension. Greg Wood, owner of Gage Telephones. Troy LaBeouf, a radio talk show host. And also Kenny Trahan and Les East from NewOrleans.com will be on to talk about everything in Louisiana with all sports. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll take your calls at 499-8255 or 499-TALK. We'll see you in just a minute. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. Opportunity here to tell you why you need to check out ITI Technical College. You can get your ITI degree in less than two years. You get specialized technical training, eight career areas to choose from, hands-on training, skills for competitive edge, flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. Listen to Opportunity. Call ITI now or go online. It's that simple. We're your key to a better life. At ITI, Opportunity doesn't just knock, it rocks. State Farm Insurance Agents Bill Barkus in Baton Rouge and Clay Stewart in Port Allen are there for you. Call today. Red Mojo Song. Barbecue, barbecue, slow, smoked meats, side items on three. Hut, hut, hut. It's tailgating time. And Voodoo Barbecue and Grill has what you need for your hungry team. Slow smoked meats, burgers and chicken, scrumptious side items and desserts everyone will go deep for. Huddle up for football season. Score with Voodoo Barbecue. Bring us to your next tailgating party. It's football season. Load up with Voodoo Barbecue. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, the physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com. The story of the day, the scoop of the day, is John Tyler Texas Junior College signed two Louisiana players yesterday. A linebacker Jonathan Tyson from West Monroe, he goes 6'1", 240, runs a 4'7", will be highly recruited in two years. And a kid named, by the name of Herderis Scott, a running back from Wassman in Monroe. I know Kenny Trahan has seen this kid play like myself. He's 6'1", 230, runs a 4'5", he's as good as Kenny Hilliard. He's as good as Jeremy Hill, and he's as good as Terrence McGee, who all two of those three signed with LSU. Uh, Herdera Scott, he will be a Brandon Jacobs name to remember, who went to a junior college in Kansas once upon a time, and now he plays for the New York Giants at 6'4", 268, running back. Wow. Greg, glad to have you, Greg Wood. Hey, thank you, Lee. I appreciate you uh, having me on the show. Uh, I know we've supported your uh, show here for a few years since you uh, went on the air and, and, of course, your magazine, I think, for 10, since 10 plus years. Yeah, so when you were a little little kid, uh, I guess I was too. So, uh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but Greg Wood uh, owns Gage Telephones. Uh, his dad started at Greg Wood Sr. 
uh, known him for a long, long time. A big supporter of high school football and college football. I mean, you're a you're season ticket holder. Yes, yeah, season ticket holder. I uh, go out to all the games, make a few road games every year. And, Hornets, uh, you go Horn see the Hornets. Hornets. I'll, be, I'll be seeing uh, Hornets versus uh, Blake Griffin tomorrow night. Can't wait. Uh, so hopefully he'll uh, put on a show for us. Yeah, yeah, he ought to have a couple of dunks, but not over a car probably yeah. in this game. But <laughs> I want to mention this, that, that your dad, because I know he'll probably watch the show, because you're going to get a copy of the show after tonight too, is a big St. James uh, High School yeah, uh, that, that was a pretty good old player. I think he was uh, an all-state basketball player as well. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I didn't know he that. He was a, a pretty darn good football player and a track star, I believe. Uh, well, that's what he tells me. Um, so, yeah. we're uh, Mention oh. your uncle, too, that was at St. James. Yeah, uh, Coach uh, Donald Rod Rodriguez. Uh, a few people here know him. Uh, uh, he's like, a, like another dad to me. I pretty much lived, uh, lived with him and when I lived in uh, Thibodeau. And, you went to uh, Nickel State? I went to Nickel you State. You were a colonel? Uh, yeah, I was a colonel. Uh, I was... I was on a six-year program there, and I'm not a doctor. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but, uh, but I want to mention that Greg uh, also uh, played football at Bel Air High School. Uh, that was a long, a time. long time ago. That's when we were uh, a 5A five, five school. Uh, played uh, back against uh, Catholic High and Warwick Dunn and those guys. It's a lot of good talent. Gerald Soule, some yeah. uh, really good players. Moel D. Moore came out yeah. of Bel Air. Marcus, the other Marcus yeah. Spears came out of Bel Air. Yeah. Uh, Troy LaBeouf. Uh, Glad to have you uh, back all the way from Donaldsonville, Louisiana. Thanks, uh, for Howard having me. Green will be calling in later in the show. Yep, talk to Howard a little bit. He said he's going to try to call in. He's, he's in Houston right now, just taking care of some business, but very excited about the Green family. We well, well, you were invited tonight, but I didn't know you knew Greg Wood. Yeah, I know Greg. Uh, I know Greg's brother in law a little bit better, Jason. Had an opportunity to coach Jason's son, Carter, who's going to be a very good baseball player and just a, just a great family. Um, they just good, really good people, and and you know, Gage Telephone is all over. You know, they're in the Thibodeau area, Homa, Baton Rouge, you name it, and it's a uh, they take care of you and they treat you like a family. Greg, tell everybody that's watching, and I mean, I mean, you came on talk a little football with yeah. me, but how they can get in touch with your company, what you do, what you well, do for your well, community company. Well, I mean, you're Gage is going into its uh, 31st year of business this year. Of course, it was a company started by my father. Actually, he's the owner. Uh, we just carry the same name. Um, but we're going on 31 years. We primarily started as a business telecommunications company, but since then our business has evolved quite a bit. We've stepped into the IT side of things. Uh, a lot of people don't quite, still don't quite understand what we do, but when you go into an office, we set up everything in between uh, the carrier and all the way up to your desktop. So we're the ones that actually make all that stuff work. We make technology work from telephones, computers, uh, IT, all that good stuff. No, that's what we do. But if you own a company and your kid plays football, which there are several guys that do, uh, or you work at a company, you need your systems put in for your telephone lines. Yeah, everything from you cabling, uh, from the start of construction, or even if you're in business and you're looking to make changes, uh, that's what we do. Well, if it wasn't for Gage, uh, I wouldn't be here today because he was one of the first supporters of my magazine in 1996 when I started going around looking for people to support so we could write about the kids. I appreciate that, you know, meeting your dad. And back then, you were yeah. just starting with the company out of yeah. Nickel State. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, actually, I have a little bit of a marketing background, but you were one of the first uh, sales <laughs> calls that I would take because uh, you're a pretty likable guy. <laughs> so. Talk about football. You watched the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, you bet. We you were, were pulling for who? I was pulling for uh, Green Bay. Because? Because yeah. they're Green Bay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, uh, I guess it was just their time. I, I became an Aaron Rodgers fan real quick, uh, and I just had a feeling the, the better quarterback would pull it out, and he did. Now, LSU is coming up, spring practice. I know you're a big LSU fan. Yeah. Um, they signed Zach Mettenberger. Yeah. They've got Jordan Jefferson. Yeah. He'll be a senior. Jarrett Lee will be a senior. What are your thoughts about the quarterback position in this coming team uh, for LSU? Oh, wow. Because uh -huh. I know you go to a lot of their games, too. Yeah, I go, LSU. I go to a lot of the games. As most, most people here tonight, we were talking before the show, and uh, – you know, I think number nine is going gonna, is gonna to take the snaps to start the season. I hopefully, uh, I think if you keep him on the field, then I guess he must be doing a good thing. So, uh, but I, I still think we'll see the other guy, uh, uh, the Met, uh, yeah, Matt come, Berger. come in I mean, and, and play. So, and uh, yeah, Jordan had a great Cotton Bowl. I mean, it was the LSU's first Cotton Bowl win since I think the 60s. Can yeah, you believe it? Yeah, 60 something. They yeah, lost to was, Texas because of Roy Williams going crazy that yeah. day. I don't think Roy's had a great game since the Cotton Bowl. 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dallas, this, Troy, and I'll ask Les Cease when he comes up from NewOrleans.com and Kenny Tran, but Troy, do you think Roy will be brought back in Dallas? I don't know. You know, tough owner, as we know. But uh, Roy, tore, he, he certainly played well against LSU that day in 2002. I'll never forget that game. He, he just dominated an all-pro backfield that had, I think, Corey Webster, Travis Daniels, all those guys. But uh, Jerry Jones, you have to perform in Dallas because they drafted Dez Bryant, who's – Probably gonna. That's why I don't think he'll be back. Uh, and plus, that young receiver they have that they got the 50. I'll ask Les Cease later in the show. Troy, we're gonna bring you back later in the show. We'll have Howard Call Green call in. Greg, thank you for your support. Hey, thank you, Lee. Thanks for having me. And uh, go St. James, Bel Air High School, all the all the <laughs> schools, right? We'll that's be it. back in just a moment. We're gonna have Les East from NewOrleans.com and Kenny Trahan. And we'll be back in just a moment. Pro Power Outdoor Superstore is the place for all your outdoor needs. If it has a motor and has to be used outdoors, chances are we have it in our 30,000 square foot facility. We have the best products and manufacturers that people have come to know and trust. We offer top-notch service on all these products with over 100,000 parts in our inventory. From trimmers to mowers, scooters to trailers, Pro Power Outdoor Superstore has it all with two locations to serve you. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. You know Kirk's for everything that we do. Nerf bars, vin visors, bug shields, floor liners, toolboxes, bed covers, stuff like that. So check out these pre-Christmas deals. Stainless Nerf bars, $219.95. Full lid diamond cut toolboxes, just $229.95. Husky floor mats, just $59.95 a pair. Bug shields, just $39.95. And bed covers are just $499.95. Visit any Kirk's location, Airline Highway in Baton Rouge and Gonzales, or the Hammond location across from Bill Hood Nissan. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from three-point shooters to three-piece suits, now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, the physical therapy choice of basketball players, businessmen, and everyone in between. Welcome back to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Later in the show, we have Lance Callahan a defensive tackle from Catholic High, a bear locally, going to Stanford. He's going to get to play with Mr. Andrew Luck in that great defense they have coming back. We also got two underrated kids from East Ascension High School, the Spartans, two kids that didn't sign in recruiting. But signing day is not the end of people getting picked up and signing with colleges. I see it every year, March, April, May, June, the kids are still signing with colleges, and we hope – uh, to get the word out tonight of two great prospects, Wade Julian and Irvin Nash, uh, two linebackers that played out of position a lot of their time at the school for the team. Uh, they're actually linebackers for, for college, great kids. Um, and then we've got coming up, uh, I'm going to introduce right now, uh, Les East, uh, a great writer with NewOrleans.com, been around a long time in the business, uh, did a lot of work with the Picayune for many years. Uh, still does some freelance work uh, with, I'll let him mention where he, where he writes besides NewOrleans.com. Kenny Trahan, uh, the, the guy behind the scenes with the NewOrleans.com, but a friend of mine for uh, already 20 something years uh, with radio. He does all the Friday night games in New Orleans. They do a show uh, after the game, a post game with Ed Daniels. Uh, the, the tailgaters on the Saturday with uh, Archie Manning and Ed Daniels. Um, 
A little bit about Kenny Trahan. He is a graduate of Archbishop Rommel uh, in New Orleans. Uh, and uh, Les Cease went to Jesuit. Uh, so uh, a Blue Jay. Uh, and, and we have, it's an interesting crew tonight. Two Catholic League guys that like each other and work together. Right, right, Ken? Absolutely. That's <laughs> precisely the way I told you to say it. Hey, Lee, good to be good here. To, good to have you. I want to start off because you had a story recently. Uh, you do a lot of Saints articles to mm -hmm. NewOrleans.com, but this house being bought in Dallas by uh, Coach Payton, uh, blown out of proportion. Yeah, I think I said it was the most talked about local real estate transaction since the Louisiana Purchase, in, <laughs> which I thought was a bit over the top. Uh, because, you know, people have used the term commute a lot, like Sean Payton's going to get up at 3 in the morning and hop on a plane and, yeah, and then head over to New Orleans and then clock out and go back to Dallas. You know, he's going to be living in the New Orleans area during the season, putting in just as many hours. He'll have time to go to his new home in Dallas periodically during the off season. maybe go there for a couple of days during the bye week, and his family is going to live there. And for whatever reason, he and his wife have decided that's where the family should be. I don't think any of us are in a position to question that. So the only interest I think we should have is on whether or not it's going to affect his ability to coach the Saints as well as he has the last five years. And I see no reason to expect that anything's going to change in that regard. But that's like looking at an NFL player if he wants to stay in Pittsburgh in the mm -hmm. offseason or come back to Louisiana like Ryan Clark. Who, yeah. who's, who I now heard is made a, uh, has a house now in Louisiana, who's staying in Louisiana. But whatever you want to do, as long as you do your job. and Yeah, I don't know how many Saints players you could find in the greater New Orleans area right now. Right. Because they all come from somewhere else and have homes somewhere else. And I know a lot part. of them live in Destrehan for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of them live outskirts uh, in, in Hanville and anywhere, Laplace, all over. So that, mm -hmm. I, I thought it was overrated. What about you, Ken? I mean, that... Well, I don't think it's much ado about nothing, but I do think it's completely overstated and overrated. I think it's simply a matter of productivity. In any particular job endeavor, whether you're an employer or an employee, it's all about did you get the job done? Right. And if you got the job done, it doesn't really matter how many hours you spent behind a desk, how many hours you spent on a computer, where you got it done from. What matters is you accomplished the goal. I think had this been done initially when he first came to the Saints, it wouldn't have been an issue. In fact, he tried to do that, but at that time, the Saints wisely advised him that he needed to be in the community in the midst of a recovery from a yeah. terrible disaster. He did. He wanted to stay in the Dallas area then. He did not. This time he does. Speculation runs rampant as to why. But in the final analysis, all that matters is he's still the coach of the Saints. He's got two years left on his contract. He's one of the top five coaches in the NFL. And it's all about being able to continue to win and win significantly with the franchise. If he does that, nobody's going to care where he lives, and I think that's the most salient point about this. All about the W. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. yeah, it's about how you do. It's about you, whether or not you won or not. It's yeah. all about success. I mean, everything yeah. else is inconsequential. Ed Daniels, our colleague, brought up one point that was very good in a blog he wrote, which was he can offset all of this, he being paid, and if he simply signed a contract extension. And I think that's a very good point that's, because that's true. if he does, who's going to worry about where he lives at that point? That's correct. And, and also, what about all the college head football coaches that own summer homes in other states that are not camps, they're real homes? You know, that's always brought up. Like Saban has a house in Georgia. They always say, well, he's going to be in the Georgia coach just because he has a house on a lake in Georgia. You know, eh. I mean, they're human beings. We have, you know, they can do whatever they want to have a summer place to, to stay. I think people are territorial. I think there's a lot of that feeling, and certainly with what transpired in New Orleans, in 2005, a lot of people feel uh, that there is right. unquestionably kind of a blanket over the area in the sense that you're either with us or you're not. And if you're on the outside of that blanket, then you're not with us for some reason. And I understand that defense mechanism. I really do. At the same time, uh, to me, I'm really not that concerned about it. It doesn't interest me a great deal. And it doesn't really concern me as to whether or not it's going to affect him doing his job. I think he's loyal because before the Super Bowl win, they had a couple of okay seasons, uh, uh, and he stuck it out to, to get them to the Super Bowl. I mean, he, he's long-term. Uh, Drew Brees has done a phenomenal job. He took a chance on Drew, as you know, when no one wanted Drew and everybody wanted Dante Culpepper. Um, I think Drew was a, like a risk at the point, uh, but Dante was also a health risk. Uh, and it just worked out that Peyton knows players. And uh, Pierre Thomas, free agent, 
nobody wanted Pierre Thomas, correct, Ken, and, and Les? Mm -hmm. And all these guys that they bring in, he's got a great eye for talent. We've got to take a break. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. We're going to talk some high school football. Uh, might even get some Hornets in because I know Les uh, writes about the Hornets too, but we'll be back. We'll talk a little prep football. Uh, when we come back, call us at 499-8255 or 499-TALK. We'll be back in just a moment. State Farm Insurance Agents Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge and Clay Stewart in Port Allen are there for you. Call today. Pro Power Outdoor Superstore is the place for all your outdoor needs. If it has a motor and has to be used outdoors, chances are we have it in our 30,000 square foot facility. We have the best products and manufacturers that people have come to know and trust. We offer top-notch service on all these products with over 100,000 parts in our inventory. From trimmers to mowers, scooters to trailers, Pro Power Outdoor Superstore has it all with two locations to serve you. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. I'm a foot specialist. I treat spines. I treat knees. I do shoulders. Joint replacement. And I practice. We all choose to practice at the Bone and Joint Clinic where it's more like a family. One convenient place. And appointments in days, not weeks. Because our job has always been to make you comfortable for more than 60 years. Calco, first in safety, first in luxury. You know Calco, you see us on the road and all around town. Calco is luxurious interiors and the on-time dependability you trust. And for smaller groups, Calco has mid-sized buses. Offering affordability and convenience with all the amenities of a large coach. We even cover first class needs with executive style transportation. Go with Calco, first in safety, first in luxury. Call today or log on to calcotravel.com. At Gulf Coast Office Products, we're at pace with the future, offering leading technology and multifunctional office equipment. Whether it's copying, printing, scanning, or faxing, you'll receive the best in quality right here locally. We needed to move documents between our office, the insurance company, and our customers. Gulf Coast Office Products provided us with that technology. From full color imaging equipment to document imaging software for storage and retrieval, we're leading the way. Gulf Coast Office Products, excellence in imaging solutions. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com, uh, our story of the day. Tyler Junior College signs two Louisiana great players and Assumption High School. I got a chance to talk to Don Torres today. Uh, he coached Brandon Jacobs and a guy by the name of Brad Hill that was All-State. How would you like to be a high school coach and have back-to-back 2,000-yard -back rushers and have that for four years in a row with two backs? Brad Hill played at Grambling, Brandon Jacobs. Uh, Southern Illinois started at Auburn. He's with the Giants. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our recruit of the week. Speaking of running backs, uh, the kid's name is Chad Jones. Not the LSU Chad Jones, but Chad Jones from Ville Platte High School. The recruit of the week is brought to you by State Farm Insurance agents Bill Barkas and Clay Stewart. Here's a little guy we filmed in. Uh, the, the blue, a little back, looks like Kevin Falk, 5'8", about 180. Uh, had over 1,000 yards rushing, but this little guy, every game that we filmed, which was five games, he had one play like this every game, Ken. Uh, didn't sign with anybody, had, runs a 4-5 hand time, looks a little quicker in a game. Ville Platt High School by Eunice. Uh, has that little Kevin Falk build, a little bit of Terrence McGee build in him but he didn't play quarterback. But this is a guy that did not sign. 
Uh, it shows you Louisiana has tons of talent every year that gets unnoticed. Uh, you know, I mean, you see kids every year, whether it's New Orleans, whether it's Lafayette, Baton Rouge, they don't get the scholarship, but they can play. And hopefully that'll help Chad tonight showing his, his clip. Well, that's really good what you do in that regard to expose kids who typically don't get the kind of exposure they would get otherwise. And size, obviously, is one of the biggest determining factors unless you happen to have enormous speed, such as a Trenton Holiday did uh, coming out of North Louisiana when he did. By and large, though, those kind of guys get yeah. overlooked. But I want to mention some players this year that you and me uh, know a lot about. You, you being in New Orleans, and, and we film a lot in New Orleans, mm -hmm. Dante Butler, running back Brother Martin. A lot of people in Baton Rouge are not familiar with Dante Butler, but compact 200-pound back, 5'9", five, 5'8", five, going to Tulane. Uh, I thought Tulane got a steal. I did, too. I was really egging Bob Toledo on throughout the entire <laughs> recruiting process to go after him, and he was really a second for them. He really became available to them only when Peyton Jason decided to transfer out. Uh, Dante is a very mature young man, both mentally and physically. Strong legs, and he's the kind of kid that gets better as the game goes on. Very good vision, uh, never gets tackled at the point of impact. He'll always get an extra yard or two. And as I mentioned, his durability is a tremendous uh, factor where he's concerned in his effectiveness. Terry Lucas, quarterback from St. Augustine, mm -hmm. Purple Knights, signs with Nickel State. To me, a great signee for Nickel State. Well, he's an athlete. He can run. He's not, you know, overly fast, but he's pretty fast. And he's got good hand eye coordination. He's a guy that could play a number of places for them. I think he'd be an excellent defensive back, but he certainly would be good with the ball under his arm because he is a good runner. Uh, he can throw the ball if you choose to use him in that capacity as well, but I like Terry Lucas. Your old high school, Archbishop Rome, I'm going to talk about an 0-12 kid, Dominique. Dominique Billich. Billich. Uh, offensive guard or center for college. I love him. Uh, well, he plays, he plays tackle for Rommel, right. and number I coached 70, him on the playground. Wow. So number 77. Uh, that's right, and Rommel. I just spoke to him at his career day last week, and hopefully I didn't ruin him too much. You know, he's, <laughs> uh, Dominic's a good kid. It's a funny story. His older brother, Stefano, uh, was a wrestler at Rummel, and he was about all of 120 pounds. So it just goes to show Night you, you day. never know. And, 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 you know, he reminds me a lot of P.J. Lonergan, who's now a current LSU Tiger. Not a tall lineman, but a very good hand, feet-coordinated kid. That's, uh, his technique's phenomenal. Yeah, Dominic kind of stopped at 6'3". He goes about 280, 285, but he's getting stronger. Uh, he's smart. He works very hard. They like him quite a bit. And, I know Coach Roth is very high on what can happen this year for him as a senior. We have a caller, guys. We're going to go to Les. We're going to go to you after this call. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Justin, uh, do you have a question? Um, yeah. I was calling to see about the kid from Plaquemine, Troy Jones. Yeah, Troy Jones, a senior running back this year. I, I don't know if he signed. I didn't see that he signed, but 5'9", 10", 190, uh, good speed. Uh, another great player, Plaquemine had a kid by the name of Travion Hawkins, a DN, that I had ranked high all year long, 6'5", 230, ran a 4'6". Uh, I hope he chooses to go to junior college. I know he, he lacked the ACT, but there wasn't a better defensive end in the state, Ken, not even Roscoe from Evangel Christian, than Travion Hawkins from Plaquemine High School. So, you know, Troy Jones, I hope he continues somewhere as well. Uh, let's turn our attention to the New Orleans Saints again. Les, mm -hmm. you were covering Jeremy Shockey. He got cut today by the Saints. Uh, yeah, they uh, terminated his contract. I wouldn't rule out the possibility that he could come back uh, at a reduced salary. Billy but, Miller type thing? Yeah, you know, but <laughs> I, I think the chances are his career with the Saints are probably over. Jimmy Graham, who showed so much promise as a rookie last year, really takes over that role Younger guy, Shockey's got a lot of wear and tear on him over the years. Dave Thomas is a free agent. They'll probably re-sign, gives him a little depth, and then maybe they'll, they'll sign somebody to be their third tight end who's more of a blocker. So uh, he, I don't think he's going to be back, but I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, I'm glad to see that the Saints are picking up kids, that, I mean kids, adults that the Patriots don't long, no longer go on, and Thomas, who was at Texas. Uh, Belichick, uh, to let a guy quality like that go, it just goes to show you the talent they have revolving because they picked up a Florida tight end last year, the rookie, mm -hmm. uh, Hernandez, Hernandez. Who was Rookie of the Year, Very I think, uh, as a tight end. Uh, turning our attention to the Hornets, we're not a basketball show, but Marcus Thornton played basketball at LSU. Uh, talk he could get traded? Well, th there is talk that it might happen. The trade deadline is Thursday, and really all the trades in the NBA were being held up by the whole Carmelo Anthony deal. Everybody wants to see what happened there before him. they yeah. made a move. 
Now he's headed to New York, so a lot of things are being discussed. Marcus Thornton, who had a great rookie year last year, has had trouble really finding his niche with Monty Williams. Uh, obviously a, a very good scorer off the bench, young guy with a lot of potential who would be attractive to a lot of teams. Hornets would be open to moving him because he hasn't really found uh, his niche with Monty Williams. So there's a possibility he could be traded there, but he's, he's certainly a guy who brings a lot to the table offensively, and he's very popular here locally, as you can imagine. Let's tell everybody in the Lafayette area, viewing in Baton Rouge and New Orleans, and it'll be on our website for the whole country, uh, how they can find your blog on NewOrleans.com. Well, just go to uh, www.neworleans.com and you'll see an all-star lineup there with uh, Ken Trahan, Ed Daniels, myself, and, and many other familiar names. And uh, certainly uh, the Baton Rouge Advocate, they can also find my well, stories we're there. We're in partnership. Uh, I know we're tagged on each site, uh, my mm -hmm. site for neworleans.com and also neworleans.com for our site, lafootballmagazine.com. I want to ask Kenny Trahan if there's one high school game that stuck out this past season which game, what, what would it be, what game? Well, it had to be the 4A state championship game. I uh, broadcast the, the game between Franklinton and Edna Carr, and it was a tremendous football game with great skill. And obviously when you go to overtime, it had to be a good game. And it was a high-level overtime game. It wasn't simply one of those games that was facilitated by mistakes or one team defending the other. It was two teams that, that played terrific football, great offensive show. To let uh, Tonka George play great for Carr and, of course, uh, Terrence McGee was phenomenal for Franklinton, so that was a tremendous football game, and uh, and I really enjoyed that one. There have been so many over the 34 years of doing high school games, but that one is the most recent that comes to mind. Uh, congratulations again to Coach Sange Smith for Franklinton winning the first state championship at Franklinton, but Edna Carr, Jabar Jaluk, lost his D1 quarterback from a year ago in Munchie Lagode of Cincinnati. How many teams lose their D1 quarterback, have a first-year starting quarterback, go to the Dome? Uh, the little scoop, Derek Edenborough, six foot eight junior lineman, and I know uh -huh. you've seen. Very much. 330 pounds, runs a five flat, uh, leaning Nella shoe. I talked to him on the phone uh, not too long ago, about 24 hours ago. Uh, six eight, reminds me of Herman Johnson a little bit with feet. Not quite 360, but more lean, long arms, can pass block, can pull, and uses his hands really well. Uh, which you usually see 6'3 guys do when they pull. But, uh, Ken, you don't leave here empty-handed. Uh, our sponsor at Co-op Bookstore and Les, LSU Hats mm -hmm. uh, from Co-op Bookstore, uh, a T-shirt from us, guys. Uh, and also, check out Rufino's. When you, I know you're in Baton Rouge uh, Quite sometimes. Rufino's, rest, Italian yep. restaurant on I-10. Uh, check out Ruffin and the gang there. Uh, Appreciate having you, Kenny, as always. My pleasure, Lee, always. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep up the great work here. Thank you. And I know we'll be on radio soon in the sure. fall. Uh, Les, good luck with great. everything with Thanks, the Saints Lee. and Hornets. Appreciate Hope they don't it. trade uh, Thornton. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's good to have an LSU player on the Hornets team. We'll be back with more with Troy LaBeouf and maybe Howard Green from the Champs, Green Bay Packers. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. What's yours? Become the athlete you want to be. Only Fit specializes in customized training programs for the athlete in you. State Farm Insurance Agents Bill Barkus in Baton Rouge and Clay Stewart in Port Allen are there for you. Call today. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. At Gulf Coast Office Products, we're at pace with the future, offering leading technology and multifunctional office equipment. Whether it's copying, printing, scanning, or faxing, you'll receive the best in quality right here locally. We needed to move documents between our office, the insurance company, and our customers. 
Gulf Coast Office Products provided us with that technology. From full color imaging equipment to document imaging software for storage and retrieval, we're leading the way. Gulf Coast Office Products, excellence in imaging solutions. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com. Uh, we got two different stories today, one on Assumption High School, Don Torres and two, two of his recruits that didn't sign this year. Uh, two great players, a DB and a receiver. Uh, Theron, Theron uh, uh, is a good player. Uh, Hester, the receiver for Assumption 6'2", 180. Uh, great player, great hands, great speed. Without waiting any longer, I want to go ahead and get our Super Bowl champ, Louisiana Donisonville native on the line. Uh, Howard Green, Howard, glad to have you on tonight. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Howard, uh, what is it like, without waiting any longer, to get that Super Bowl ring after all the time you've played in the NFL? Uh, it's just uh, it's one of those feelings, you know. It's a great feeling just knowing that you've accomplished uh, the, the ultimate goal in professional sports, uh, winning the Super Bowl. Nobody can't take it from me, you know, and I'm just I'm excited and happy. Happy as I don't know what, just to, you know, be back home and enjoy it with my family. Well, well, Jarvis Green's got, I think, what, two at New England? Yeah, he got two at New England. So now you have one to brag about with him. Um, I have Troy LaBeouf here, one of your buddies here from Donisonville, Louisiana. Uh, he told me your remarkable journey to get to Green Bay. Can you tell people the story, uh, oh. how you got to Green Bay? I, I find it very interesting. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, I was in training camp earlier that, in this year, this past, for the uh, Red Camp, so it all Redskins in camp, uh, went to the last cut day, get, ended up getting released. Uh, the Jets <laughs> called me back to come back to uh, New York. So I go back to New York, I'm playing, doing well, some crazy stuff going on. I get released from there. Okay, so okay. Leave, uh, leave New York. I'm driving home, mind you, uh, from New Jersey to Louisiana, and uh, I get a phone call right about the Mississippi, Louisiana state line. My agent calls me and tells me Green Bay's on the phone. They just uh, they just claimed my contract off a of waiver. <laughs> okay. So I was like, okay, all right, that's good. You know, it, it's, it's just one of those wild things. I flip in the airport that night. Uh, got stuck in Atlanta for a flight. Got delayed or whatever. Got stuck in the airport. Got stuck in Chicago. I didn't make it there until Friday night. And had to learn the playbook and play Sunday, start a game. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, and, and now you're Super Bowl champs. Nah, you know, the journey was all worth it. That drive, sleeping in the airport, uh, all of that, I'll do it again just to be, you know, back at this point right here. And, Howard, you tipped a pass that I thought changed the game. Well, Rosenberger yeah. calls an interception. Yeah. Uh, you'll be remembered for that for the, for, forever on, on NFL films. Right. Uh, I got two guys here who want to ask you questions, and one that you know, Troy LaBeouf. Yeah. And the other one, Les East with NewOrleans.com. I'm going to let them ask you some questions. Okay. Howard, good to hear from you, buddy. Hey, hey, how you doing, Coach? Doing great, man. I had an opportunity to, to coach Howard when he was uh, a four-year starter at Donaldsonville. Walked into a great situation right out of college. Um, Howard, if you were to tell young kids, you know, just coming from Donaldsonville, going to Southwest Mississippi Junior College, going to LSU for three years, I mean, talk about what it takes to, to get to the level that you've got to? Uh, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of discipline and hard work, and you're going to have some dedication, a lot of dedication to, to be disciplined enough to do what you have to do. Um, discipline is, is a major thing, I think, for uh, nowadays in, in, in our youth. Um, you know, you can't give up on just because things are not going your way. It's not going to be easy. I find that, that you know, sometimes we, we get a little discouraged, but you got to always pick yourself back up and try again. Yeah. And um, I think 
those things are, are important. Education is a, is a key is a key factor in this because if you don't have your grades right, you can't get to where you want to be. And I mean, I, I mean, I was I didn't think it was that serious in the beginning, but I, I had to get myself together in high school and and get myself prepared to go on to college. And college prepared me to go to the NFL. So um, I, I mean, I wouldn't want to change anything from coming from where I'm from. Less. Yeah, Howard, I remember covering you when you were with the Saints, and, of course, a lot of the coaches there were in New Orleans. <coughs> Mike McCarthy, the head coach, Dom Capers, the defensive coordinator, Winston Moss, I know, among others. And uh, I'm wondering, being from Donaldsonville and a former Saint, what was it like for you last Super Bowl? Were you rooting for the Saints, and, <coughs> and what was that experience like? Uh, yeah, I mean, me being from, um, from Donaldsonville, Louisiana guy, I have friends that – that still, you know, fought, you know, that played for the Saints, and also, I was a Saints Saints fan. I was rooting for them because they deserve uh, the opportunity. Uh, Randall Gates, a uh, friend of mine, you know, I consider a family member. Uh, uh, Charles Grant, uh, you got Will Smith. I played with those guys. We were the starting yeah. defensive line when I was there <laughs> in New Orleans. So uh, it's always going to be a connection with those guys. Uh, Duke McAllister, I mean, all you know, all, all of those guys are my friends. So of course, I was pulling for the Saints to win. And you know, being a uh, Louisiana guy, you wanna you wanna pull for the home team. They I, they deserve to be there. It worked so hard to get there. And Howard, you were in our first magazine. We came out in 1996 with Donaldsonville. Y'all had the best D line in the in the state with you and Jarvis. Right. Uh, and I know Skylar Green came so close to getting a ring with the Saints. Yeah, he did. Uh, and and uh, people don't realize, I mean, that team. Skyler, I heard, was almost a Donaldsonville graduate, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he could have been very well a Donaldsonville graduate. I mean, um, but him being from uh, from this, you know, from, from the area where, where we all grew up together in uh, Lemonville, so uh, he very well could have could have been right there with us, you know, along the yeah. way. But, you know, his mom and all, all my nanny, they moved to New Orleans, and that's where he, he started to, you know, go to high school and middle school. Howard, one more question. Tell everybody, how many more years do you, would you like to play in the NFL? Uh, I don't really have a number uh, right offhand. Um, my body, as long as my body can hold up and it's still fun, I, I still want to play. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to pull a breath fall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, you agree? pull a breath fall, but, I mean, yeah. you know, Maybe another four more years, maybe. I, you know, let's see how it goes from there. You got a young quarterback, young defense. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Howard, thank you for coming on. I, I think you're in another state right now, Carl, and I think that Louisiana yeah. thanks you coming on tonight for these thank kids. You. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming on. And, uh, Troy, I appreciate you coming on, as always. Uh, it's no your problem. second, third time on our show. Uh, got a Rufino's gift card for you. Appreciate it. A, a shirt. And I got an LSU hat, but it's so far back, I can't grab it right now. But I got an LSU hat. I appreciate it, Lee. From Cobb Bookstore and Less. Again, thank you. Uh, we'll be back. Thanks. We've got our recruits coming up. Don't miss it. We've got three recruits that we want to show you when we come back. Thank you. Calco. You see us on the road and everywhere you go. Calco Travel, Tours, and Transportation. Because at Calco, we are safe, courteous, and on time. Each driver meets the highest standards for safety and courtesy. Every motor coach is inspected, maintained, and cleaned. We know this business, and we can take you coast to coast or just to a local event. Calco, for all your tour and transportation needs. Call or log on to calcotravel.com and let us help you today. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from long drivers to unlucky drivers. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of golfers, injured drivers, and everyone in between. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243.
If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. Opportunity here to tell you why you need to check out ITI Technical College. You can get your ITI degree in less than two years. You get specialized technical training, eight career areas to choose from, hands-on training, skills for competitive edge, flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. Listen to Opportunity. Call ITI now or go online. It's that simple. We're your key to a better life. At ITI, Opportunity doesn't just knock, it rocks. I'm a foot specialist. I treat spines. I treat knees. I do shoulders. Joint replacement. And I practice. We all choose to practice at the Bone and Joint Clinic. Where it's more like a family. One convenient place. And appointments in days, not weeks. Because our job has always been to make you comfortable for more than 60 years. Welcome back to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I'm your host, Libra Keen. Uh, before we introduce the two Spartan underrated recruits, uh, I want to mention it was good to have Les East on the show and Kenny Trahan come all the way down from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, give good insight. I didn't even know Marcus Thornton would, could get traded by the deadline. And uh, Jeremy Shockey was cut on the way here for my show, so uh, I didn't even know that that had happened. And uh, but Jimmy Graham, what a great rookie tight end from the University of Miami. What a great story. Played basketball in college. Uh, didn't even play football but one season. Uh, sort of like Gates, the tight end from the Chargers, who only played basketball at Kent State. No football. Now he's a pro bowler, so uh, he didn't even get a scholarship, guys, that right, out of, right on signing day. Uh, Irvin Nash, nice to have you on. You. Wade Julian, uh, guys, you might remember when I came to your school last spring. Yes, sir. Getting you out of the weight room to go take pictures, right? Y'all yes, looking at me like, why are you, why are you here, right? It was at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, coach said, y'all go out and take pictures, and uh, uh, here we are. I told you I'd bring you on the show. Yes, so, uh, Irvin, introduce yourself. You're a linebacker, linebacker East Ascension. Slash DN, '92. Uh, played three years. Freshman year, a linebacker. I stayed at linebacker and moved to DN, I think my sophomore year. And they kind of had me back and forth from defensive end and linebacker. Well, you played out of position for the team because I always thought you were just a linebacker for college. Yeah. And Wade, you did the same thing. Yes, I started You were D line starting yeah. out in your career, but you moved to linebacker your senior year. A junior year. Right? Junior year, yes. but your sophomore year, you were playing on the line. Yes, sir. But y'all were the two best tandem tacklers, in, in, to me, in the metro area of Baton Rouge. Um, tell them everybody about your size right now, Irvin, height and weight. I'm um, 6'1", oh, 215. Can run on 4'6", 4'7". Yes, sir. Wade? 5'10", uh, five, five, 230, running about a 4'7". And hit like a truck. Uh, <laughs> and, and both of you hit like trucks. That's why, you know, football players have to sign that are football players. These are two guys that can play football. They know football. What I liked about watching you two for three years is that you read and react. And, and I know you have teammates and teams that you played, and you probably watch guys that can't read, but they can run a 4-4, four four, right? Yes, sir. But you, I mean, you two are like, when, I mean, when you get running backs by you, I mean, they're going down. I mean, you read the play. Uh, I think there's something to being a football player. And uh, any college coach watching tonight, here's two kids, didn't sign on signing day. Uh, Wade, you're interested in engineering. Yes, sir. Uh, and any school in state. Yeah, pretty Whoever much. would give you a chance. Yes, sir. Uh, Irvin, what do, you, what do you want to do? Anybody, right? Whoever will. Pretty much. I just want to play football. Uh, anything uh, uh, you want to mention? Any family uh, uh, for your uh, accomplishments uh, on air? Anybody? Uh, my mom and my sister has been supporting me a lot throughout the whole senior year, helping me out with grades and stuff. And Wade? Uh, my mom, dad, any close family, all my friends, but really my mom and my dad, and especially my dad, for staying on me 
constantly telling me this, telling me, give me all the insiders that I needed to be able to play at the next level and at my highest level of competition. What I like too, both of you guys were, were beat up when I went to the school. Uh, you had a cast on your hand, Wade. Lifting weights with a cast on your hand, that's commitment, right? <laughs> What'd you think of that, Irvin? I mean, this guy was just committed. You, to you want to stop? Guys, good luck to you. Bye. I got shirts for you. Okay, good luck. We'll, we're going to come back with Lance Callahan from Catholic High School. Going to Stanford, D-Tackle. Good luck to you guys. Uh, two Spartans, and we're coming up with a Catholic bear. We'll see you in just a minute. Everything is on sale right now and tax-free. If it's not on sale, it is, because Kirk's is paying the taxes on any purchase. Kirk's will cover your taxes on any purchase or any item in the store. We carry a huge selection of inventory. Consider it Kirk's way to say thanks. Kirk's covers the taxes on all your purchases throughout the entire store at any Kirk's location. Yep, Kirk's will pay your tax up to $3,000. Visit any Kirk's location, Airline Highway in Baton Rouge and Gonzales or the Hammond location across from Bill Hood Nissan. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. What's yours? Become the athlete you want to be. Only Fit specializes in customized training programs for the athlete in you. Opportunity here to tell you why you need to check out ITI Technical College. You can get your ITI degree in less than two years. You get specialized technical training, eight career areas to choose from, hands-on training, skills for competitive edge, flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. Listen to Opportunity. Call ITI now or go online. It's that simple. We're your key to a better life. At ITI, Opportunity doesn't just knock, it rocks. State Farm Insurance Agents Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge and Clay Stewart in Port Allen are there for you. Call today. Red Mojo Song, barbecue, barbecue, slow smoked meats, side items on three, hut, hut, hut. It's tailgating time, and Voodoo Barbecue and Grill has what you need for your hungry team. Slow smoked meats, burgers and chicken, scrumptious side items and desserts everyone will go deep for. Huddle up for football season. Score with Voodoo Barbecue. Bring us to your next tailgating party. It's football season. Load up with Voodoo Barbecue. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from those who serve ACEs to those who serve others. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of tennis players, waitresses, and everyone in between. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com for our latest stories of the day. Um, we actually send out over 30,000 a day on our list, our email list. Uh, uh, check it out. We've got a guest right now, Lance Callahan, a D-tackle from Catholic High. A tiny 6'3", 300 pounds, D-tackle that can run. Signed with Stanford in Palo Alto, California, which is known for Catholic High Bears. Jeremy Stewart was a star in the bowl game this year, running back. Mark Stockbar was one of the first signees, a linebacker from Catholic High. Uh, and Brandon Harrison, who played with the Texans for a little bit of DB, of safety. Lance, glad to have you on. Thank you for having me. What's it like knowing that you're going to play with Andrew Luck, who should have won the, I thought was, should right. have won the Heisman. He should have. You're going to be his teammate for a year. Uh, it's great knowing a guy like that who can give away all that money for education. You know, that's a true leader. No one's ever turned down fifty million dollars. I don't think. I don't think so either. <laughs> probably Peyton Manning, probably the only right, one. Right. right, Peyton Manning, maybe. You're going to go as a D lineman. Yes, sir. Uh, they didn't say you'd red shirt or start. They just. They just told me. Told me to get ready. Be ready to go when I get there. Uh, who was your host? Uh, my host, uh, I had a couple hosts actually. Uh, my first host was a walk on defensive tackle and also a linebacker named Alex Turner, both freshmen. Okay, yes, young guys that can yeah. relate with you in high school. Yes, um, what'd you like about your visit? Uh, nice, cool weather. San Francisco. Yes, sir, the whole Bay Area and, and the campus is one of the second biggest campus in the world. So I love everything about it. It's tough to get into that school. Yes, sir, very tough. Uh, you got to have a high ACT, high GPA. All that, yes, sir. 
Uh, so you ready to go in June, you told me. Yes, sir. Uh, you're going to report in June, start working out. Your new coach uh, was on the staff. Yes, sir. David Shaw was the offensive coordinator and our receiver coach, and they bumped him up to head coach. When did you know you were going to Stanford? Now, you committed early. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, I kind of knew when I went there uh, for, my, for my first visit. After that, I kind of knew I was, it was time to commit. Uh, uh, and, you know, going to Stanford, yeah, California. Uh, some people get jet lag. It's so far away, but it's a great school. Um, it's it's uh, like an Ivy League school, actually, which you got Georgia Tech and Duke and all those that are prestigious academic schools. Um, Stanford's probably the oldest. Uh, they got the Cardinal mascot. Uh, that's probably the only thing that's different to me, the, uh, the, uh, the tree, right? Yeah, it's not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not even the official mascot. It's only for the band and for they got, the football team. They, they got have. the coolest band I've ever seen in the yes, States. Right? Yes, sir. It's a little bit different. Um, tell everybody uh, what you're going to miss about Louisiana going all the way to Palo Alto. Uh, definitely at home cooking. All the good food. Uh, once you leave, once you leave Louisiana, the food kind of goes down. But this uh, fans and family and all that kind of stuff was going to miss the most. Who's your favorite pro football player? Uh, my favorite pro football player, uh, I have to say, right now, Clay Matthews. I really like that guy. And uh, Brian Cushing at the Texans. I really like those two guys. Clay uh, got a Super Bowl ring with Howard Green. How'd you like the Howard Green interview? Uh, I, was, I liked it a lot. You're D lineman. Yes, sir. I mean that that pump you up. It really did. And, and Troy, how many times was Howard cut before he got to this point? Six or seven times. So hold me to that, but it's close to that. But Lance, when I saw Lance walk up tonight when we met before, he reminded me of Howard as a young guy. And uh, I know Lance worked hard at Catholic and played for a great coach and Coach Weiner, but he just reminded me of, of Howard. Anything about your coaches or teammates that you're on TV uh, before you? Before the show's over, anybody you want to recognize? Uh, yeah, I just want to thank all my coaches, Coach Wider, uh, my D-line coach, Coach Zayu, uh, new defensive coordinator, Deuce Harris, uh, all my defensive guys, uh, Grant Venable, Sean Forcier, uh, Joey Fondo, uh, just all our seniors. Uh, I love those guys. And Good luck to you. You're going to be playing the Ducks in the future, the Washington State team. Uh, we'll see you on TV. Yes, sir, Pat 12. UCLA, that's their rival, which yes, is sir. two miles apart to Cal, campuses. Cal, Cal, Berkeley. Cal Berkeley. Yes, sir. That's where Aaron Rodgers played. Yes, sir. Good luck to you, Lance. Thank you. Uh, we got a shirt for you, too, off All the right. show. Troy, again, thank you. Thank you, Lee. Uh, we'll see you every Tuesday on Cox 4 Live at 6.30 p.m. Catch the replay tonight at 10.30 and all week long. Uh, and all season long, we'll be on every Tuesday on Cox 4. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show tonight. I want to thank all our guests, Greg Wood with Gage Telephones, uh, Troy LaBeouf, all our recruits, Kenny Trahan and Les East. We'll see you next week.